Dirty Diggers outside the uh, St. Louis uh, bottle show. Getting ready to go in. We don't have any money, so we're just causing trouble in there today. <laughs> but uh, we'll go in here and see if we can talk to some guys and know a little bit about bottles. But we'll get back to you from the show. Little Dirty Diggers here with Lanson, and uh, we're here at the St. Louis Bottle Show still, and I'm gonna ask him the same question. What was your first bottle? Oh boy, it's something I found up in the attic uh, of where we lived. Uh, my grandpa or somebody must have put it up there. That would make you fall in love And then bottle. my, my uh, uncle from Kansas, uh, we were down in the barn, and we had a whole bunch of 1858 fruit jar, all different kinds. And he said, you know, you should start collecting those. He said, there's some money in them. They're somewhere worth five bucks a piece. And it's like, whoa, whoa, five bucks. When you're seven years old, yeah. it's like, hey, that's a lot of money. So I took all of them up and washed them up and brought them up to my room, you know, so. Heck yeah. And then. And so you, be, you dig like I do. So you you yeah. love digging. And I didn't know nothing about probe until probably, oh, um, 40 years ago. Uh, up until I'm 40 66. years ago. I'm 66. So you've so. been out of 40, over 40 years. Well, since I was seven. Since you were seven so. years old. So uh, you enjoy digging or collecting more? Well, Both. I'm getting too old to dig. I found that out the other day. But <laughs> you, you dug a pretty good hole, though. I, I do love to dig. Yeah. Uh, but, it's nothing like digging the bottles instead of buying them. Yeah. Well, I tell you what, I got a couple questions. We call this the dirt. Since okay. we're the little dirty diggers, we got the dirty six. <laughs> all right, and they're pretty goofy, but it's just two, two choices. Okay. You got A or B. Okay, Sloans or sours? Sloans? Extract bottles. Sloans or sours? I don't know what a sours is. Right. Piece of junk extract. Is it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll probably sour. That's from okay. Kansas City. Yeah. Isn't it? It's, yeah. How about Bromo or Castorian? Bromo. Bromo for sure. Now this one, you, this one's right up your alley here, and I already know what the answer is. Lashes or Hostetter? Hostetter. Always. California Fig? No, I throw them away. Or Caldwell Pepsi? I take the Caldwell. Dr. Caldwell. <laughs> blob or Hutch? I take the Blob. Take the Blob. Royals or Cardinals? Oh, that's a tough one. I do like the Royals because we had a Nebraska player playing for the Royals. Yep, you did. Alex Gordon. Gordon. Gordon, that's our man. <laughs> Lanson, thanks a lot. Hey, you bet. All right, we'll see you around. <laughs> thanks. <laughs> Uh, Little Dirty Diggers, I'm here with Bruce Mobley, good friend of mine from Macon, Missouri, and he's got his collection here at the St. Louis Bottle Show. All right, Bruce, just got a couple quick questions. As soon as she gets done getting those pretty bottles on there. <laughs> the biggest question is, how do you do such a good job on your lettering, Bruce? I, uh, I, I used to wrestle cats for a living, and uh, you know, to kind of cover up those cats, you know, scratches, it would help me, uh, you know, by putting that saddle on. I started noticing, well, you know, I could probably do that to bottles, too. <laughs> and so I bought a paint pen one day, and I started just painting them on there. <laughs> Been doing it ever since. <laughs> so, what, what was your first bottle? First bottle, I actually got it was a. Uh, it was the uh, Kiwani Brewing Company. I got it in Macon, Missouri. It was two bucks. And I put it down, walked out of the flea market, and I turned around and went back and bought it. I've been collecting bottles ever since. So you love collecting. I know you oh, also yeah. love digging as well. So you get a chance. Yeah, yeah. Kind of dangerous to do by yourself, but I think it's a good hobby. Yeah. It's a good hobby. So you, so you sell bottles, you trade bottles, collect bottles. Yeah. Fine bottles, anywhere you can get them. Yeah. Love to take care of bottles. Clean them, does a great job of cleaning them. Uh, what, uh, what uh, is so your first bottle is that the one you fell in love with? Or you yeah. just like, well, I just started picking them up after that. And you've got a, you have a website, right? For, yeah. What's yeah. that? What's that website? It's uh, brucemobley.com slash beer bottle library. And, he, and you all one word. put all the beer bottles you can find on there? All the ones I know of. And list them and generally yeah. give a description have a picture yeah. of them if you can yeah. pictures that's a, that's a great web that's a great website i've looked at it several times uh so you know we, we've known you for a while you've helped us get in get into bottle digging collecting well, anytime i've had a question i've been able to call you and you've always had an answer <laughs> yeah always yeah. had good even response. if it wasn't the truth i told him so. <laughs> so little dirty diggers we've got the six dirty questions well, i hate those dirty you ready <laughs> It's just an a, it's just A or B. Okay. Like a, not a, a lot of choices. Sl on the on the on the Sloans or Sours. Say that again. Sloans or Sours. Bottles. Sloans. Extracts. 
got Sours Lindemann, I think, and Sloan's. Which would you rather have? You know, the Sloan sounds a lot smoother. It is a lot smoother. <laughs> it does sound smoother. Bromo or I can't Cast- pronounce that other one. So Bromo or Castorium? Oh, I love Castorium. Oh. And they stinking old fish. Yeah. yeah. Lashes or Hofstetter's? Uh, lashes or Hofstetter's? Probably Lashes. You see them Hofstetter's all the time. Now this one is probably, I know these are your favorite bottles. California Fig Syrup or Caldwell's Pepsi? Caldwell's. Obviously. Yeah, yes. <laughs> Blob or Hutch? Blob's always. Always. He's a beer guy, right? <laughs> yeah. I like my Hutches, though. Don't get me wrong. Royals or Cardinals? Uh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> They're both Missouri. Well, thank, thanks a lot, Bruce. <laughs> you bet. Appreciate it. Peace out. Little Dirty Diggers here at the St. Louis Bottle Show still. I'm with Dennis Green, and he's got these great collections of these small, all kinds of small bottles. They're beautiful. Sample size bottles. Mostly sample whiskeys. Now, how, Dennis, how did you get involved in collecting bottles? I've been collecting bottles since probably the 1960s. I dug in my granddad's dump. He built his house in 1911, and I dug behind his old house, and that's how I first started collecting bottles. You, you like digging, digging or collecting better? I like both of them. Both of them. We the do, too. You, the digging, you never know what you might find. We do, too. The collecting, my collection is kind of a revolving door on it. I've collected whiskeys, I've collected beers, I've collected eggs, I've collected over the last 50 years. What's your favorite? Probably tunnel models like these tunnel eggs. Heck yeah. Stuff that's in the 18 and I've got black glass, too. I've got some models that are the date uh, 1710 to 1750 before the revolutionary war i've got some of those well we don't so want, got some real old stuff and we don't want to take up too much of your time you know you're busy but i got we're the we're the little dirty diggers so we got the dirt we got the dirty six here sloan or sours what do you mean sloan? If, if you had to take your choice sloan extract or sours extract probably sour sours bromo or castorium uh, Probably Castorian. Okay. I mean, yeah, that's all right. Lashes or Hofstetter's? Uh, I'd be Hofstetter's. Yeah. He's got a big Hofstetter collection. Yeah, I just hit him up just a minute ago. California Fig or Caldwell's Pepsi? Uh, probably Caldwell's Fig. They're common. Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, and the Caldwell's are both common. Uh, all, always. In fact, that's what I dug in my granddad's dump. That's kind of why I formulated these questions. I knew it would be something everybody knew, and they probably had a thousand of them and yeah. threw them. Yeah, it's common. At least a thousand away. Yeah, it's common. How about Blob or Hutch? Uh, I'd go with Blob. Royals or Cardinals? Uh, let's go with Cardinals. <laughs> Thanks, Dennis. <laughs> is that the right answer? There is, no, there's, there is no right answer. I see, I'm, I'm from Louis. Kansas City, so, well, or I at that too. side. Yeah. yeah. But we appreciate it. Thanks a lot. All right. Little Dirty Diggers here with Dave, D- Digger Dave. Yay. Hey, we're here at the, there's Shovel and Shelly. We're here at the St. Louis Bottle Show. All right, Dave, your first bottle. What was your first bottle? bottle? Oh, boy. Well, I don't really know, but my first really good bottle was a Dr. Hofstadter Stomach Bitters machine made. Mm-hmm. Dug it out of a horse pasture, I think when I was nine years old, 1969. So that was my first memorable bottle. So was it the one that stuck you? Is that what stuck you oh, to yeah. bottle digging? Yeah, oh, yeah. So I dig, was hooked. digging or collecting? What's your favorite? Oh, both. Both? Yeah. You gotta get your hands dirty. You gotta dig and you gotta collect. It's like, tre- it's like treasure hunting. Uh-huh, that's okay. right. Okay, so you've been, I think from our talk the other day, you've been doing this 40 plus years, is that right? Something like that, yeah. Like Started that. in 69. So, let's see, I don't know how old that that's would be. A, that's, yeah. 50 years? 50, that's creepy. <laughs> it's half a century. It's half a century. 50 years, that ain't right. Oh, man. Well, I know, we're just getting started. Now I feel really old. Where's my walker? <laughs> <laughs> you have to check him uh, at the door. Oh, check, that's check the walker at the door. Yeah, so you also forget everything. So that's why I got Shelly. So, Shelly keeps me up. Privies or dumps? Privies all the way. Yeah, oh, well, man, I love privies. Well, we're digging a dump now, but yeah. we'll be back to privy digging, though. So. I'm looking yeah. forward to it. The ground's a little wet right now. Yeah. Our way, it's oh, yeah. wet. So, uh, we had a great we had a great time digging with you the other day. It was awesome. I got, because we're making this quick, I got the six dirty questions from the little dirty diggers. <laughs> yeah. Sloans or sours? Sloans. All the way. All the way. 
Bromo or Castor? Mm. Oh, I told you this is a dirty yeah, question. That's a dirty one, man. Bromo. Bromo, of course. Yeah. Everybody loves blue. Lashes or Hofstadter? Lashes. All the way, yeah. Unless it's a black glass Hofstadter, then I gotta say Hofstadter. Well, let's say Hofstadter because they got some good colors. So. They do. Oh, yeah. So, California fig <laughs> syrup or Caldwell's Pepsi? Oh, Caldwell's because it's Illinois. Monticello, Illinois. Blob or Hutch? Blob. Now, yeah. you're from Illinois. I don't know if you're a baseball fan or not, but I've been asking everybody around here. Cardinals or Royals? Now, you can throw any other team out there. Let's see who's winning right now. I don't know if anybody's <laughs> winning right now. But thanks, Cardinals. Yeah, thanks a lot, Dave. We yeah, we enjoyed it. having you all up. We're so. going to get you to Brookfield. I need a, yeah, I need a probing yeah, lesson, great. Dave. I need a probing oh, lesson. Oh, we'll do that. Yeah, let's go out there and probe some good ones out. You're doing good, though, man. You don't need any help. <laughs> well, I appreciate it. Be glad. Yeah, thanks a lot. All right, we'll see good you. seeing you guys. <laughs> Ian here with Little Dirty Diggers. I'm here with Carl Hannick, and we're from the same hometown. And we've been digging together before. And uh, Carl, what was your first bottle? First bottle was probably a druggist bottle from Brookfield. Our favorite bottle as well. And uh, so, how many years you been collecting or digging? Been digging for about ten years. Do you prefer digging or collecting or both? Little of both. Little of both. I know you like digging because I saw that hole you dug the other day, so I know you can dig. That's for sure. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> I, I dug a pretty good hole too. But anyway, uh, so uh, do you just you like selling the bottles? You just like going to shows, the community, camaraderie? I like trading up. Well, Sell the cheap bottles, buy the better ones. That sounds like the great idea there. <laughs> so, anyways, Carl's got a great collection of bottles. Of course, we talked to Lanson earlier, and I think they've done a lot of work together Absolutely. collecting. Yeah, but it's because we're little dirty diggers, and you remember the this is that L, that's the logo off the LW Clark right? yeah. that we put little dirty diggers on. <laughs> but anyway, uh, got the six dirty questions. Okay, let's go. All right, hear. he's got great bottles, so these are going to be tough for him. All right, extracts Sloans or Sours? No preference. <laughs> no preference. Come on, you got a preference. We we thought Sours was from KC, so we went with Sours. I would go for Sours. Bromo or Castorium? Oh, my. <laughs> That's why they're the six dirty questions. Castorium. <laughs> Lashes or Hofstetters? I know the answer to this one. Hofstetters. All right. California fig syrup or Caldwell's Pepsi? Uh, I'd go with Caldwell's. <laughs> Blob or Hutch? Hutch. Royals or Cardinals? And I think I know the answer to this. All right. <laughs> Thanks, Carl. We'll get back to that you. That was a dirty question. <laughs> Ian with Little Dirty Diggers. I'm here with Jack Klutz. Klotz. Klotz, sorry. That's Klutz. Right. Yeah, that, that, yeah. That, that, way to go. In high school, that was Captain Klutz. <laughs> and uh, just got a couple of questions for you. Uh, what was your first bottle? Um, it, I still have it, believe it or not. Dug in 1964 in California. I went out with the Boy Scouts to clean out an old Spanish adobe yard, and we were pulling up roots, and the little bottles were stuck to the roots, and we were like, wow, this is cool. So I, I have a, a extract bottle from about 1880, still in my collection. You wouldn't know it from any other slick worth 50 cents, but to me it's priceless. Is that the one that made you fall in love with it? Oh, yeah. So yeah. Is, it, is it digging for you, or collecting, or is it both? digging. It the magic of holding something the first time in 150 years. So. Same for me. I got started. I just got started with the bottles because I was walking ditches for arrowheads. Started picking up these bottles, the next thing you know, digging them up everywhere. I always figured it'd be the closest I'd ever get to finding pirate treasure. You know, <laughs> that's and, exactly. And, that's what and, I and tell where Ian. I, where I grew up, it was like I'd stack my bottles up next to my bed and go to sleep thinking, oh, Wyatt Earp could have drank out of that bottle or whatever. Because I was only 12 years old when I started. So your what's your fa what's your favorite? Just anything? Any any bottles? Just digging. Whatever I'm digging that day. Whatever you're digging. Mm -hmm. Well, he's got a heck of a display of stuff he's dug up. He's got tons of bottles. I like I do like the medicines. The weirder the name, the fewer the medicine. Uh, so that we because we're the little dirty diggers, so we got the we got the dirty six questions here <laughs> for you, and it's pretty easy. Just A or B here. All right. All right. Uh, well, first off, how long have you been here? 57 years. 57 years. <laughs> so, okay, here we go. Sloans or Sours? 
Really? Yes. <laughs> They're the dirty questions, man. Come on. You are kidding. Sloan. Sloan. Just go. Bromo or Castoria? Oh, you're hurting me. <laughs> you're really hurting. Castoria. Lashes or Hofstetter's? Oh, Jesus. Uh, lashes. <laughs> How many of all these have you done? Thousands of each all one of these. Them. <laughs> Thousands of I've each. thrown them over my shoulder. California Pig Syrup or Caldwell Pepsi? <laughs> oh my gosh. Caldwell's. <laughs> Blob or Hutch? Uh, Blob. Blob. Okay, well you're from California and where are you at now? Uh, just south of Hannibal. Just south of Hannibal. So Royals or Cardinals? Oh, that's tough. Well, or, Royals. I like the Royals. All right. Well, thank you, Jack. We appreciate the interview, and yeah. we enjoy your collection. Thanks. Good. It was fun. <laughs> it's Ian with Little Dirty Diggers. I'm here with Gerald at Gerald Rector at the Bottle Show, and uh, I'm going to ask him a couple questions. Uh, what was your first bottle? Uh, probably milk bottle. A milk bottle. Yeah. And what's your, what's your favorite bottle to collect? Uh, Early American uh, glass and stoneware and uh, black glass. Black glass. Yep. So how long have you been doing it, Gerald? Uh, about 42 years. Got some years in. So then, so we, so what we've been asking everybody when we've been interviewing is we got the dirty six, the dirty six questions. Okay, if you got your, it's just multiple choice. You only got two. All right, extracts, Sloans or sours? Sours. Sours. Okay, Bromo Seltzer or, or Castorium? Bromo. Okay. Lashes or Hofstadter? Hofstadter. California Fig Syrup or Pepsi? Pepsi. Pepsi. Bob or Hutch? Bob. Royals or Cardinals? Probably Cardinals. Cardinals. Oh. <laughs> Thanks, Gerald. Well, I'm from St. Louis here, you know. <laughs> you know. Thanks a lot. Yeah. Ian with Little Dirty Diggers. I'm here with Stuart. And we just picked up two Brookfield bottles. Of course, you know that's our hometown. We got a Watson's Dairy, and we got the local soda bottle. Which I just picked up one of these the other day in Chillicothe, but it's the only second one I have. So that's cool. So uh, how long have you been doing this, Stuart? Since 2006. 2006. Yeah. You just you just collect milks. Is that your love? Um, no, I do milks and deco soda bottles is my main interest. But I do have a few ACLs. Probably close to a thousand bottles total. And uh, you ever done, you ever done any digging? No, but I'd love to. Yeah, I'd love to do that. We yeah. do quite a bit of digging, but uh, so uh, your your passion is the soda bottles and milk bottles and, 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 and Boston milks. He's got a great selection. Show the selection. This is just a little bit of what I have. Yeah, because it's nowhere near a thousand. Just a few. Oh, God. I, I got a spare bedroom. I got a spare bedroom with 45 to 50 boxes full of bottles. Display case. We love the soda bottles. We love the sodas. We, we, we were fortunate in our town that we had a bottler that, or out where they got them from, but they, we, the railroad came through our town in 1860 something, uh -huh. and they have, we have a Hutch bottle, and we have several different variants right. of this bottle here. But uh, so, uh, do you, so you prefer the embossed or the ACLs in the milks? Uh, in the milks, actually, I like the embossed. Yeah, uh, the older, too. the older embossed bottles, I, I really do. And actually, at home, I do have quite a few what I call unique bottles. Mm -hmm. They're different cream separators, cream tops, top milk bottles. Is that like that bottle there? Is that like a cream? That's separator? a cream. That's a no. The cream separator looks like. Uh, he's got one. So he's got a great selection of bottles. Show him the bottle that you smart. Here's the bottle we just picked up. He put it away for a The cream separator bottles have a dent in the side. Oh, yeah, You've I've seen, seen them before. I've seen them right. before. And those are kind of unusual. They actually ran it for a few years and then they got rid of it because the customers thought they were getting cheated out of their quart of milk yeah. with that tent in the, in the, in the side of the bottle. they were. Hey, money was tight. Yeah. Well, yeah. So you prefer the decos or the hand-blown slug plates? Uh, I'm, I'm really into the deco soda bottles. I love and, them myself. Yeah, I've, I've really got some killer. I think I fell in love with this bottle right here. I found a crush bottle that had Brookfield on the bottom of it sticking out of a bank, and I think that's kind of where I started falling I in love with sodas. I have several crush the bigger ones in the amber color, they're really very they're, desirable. They're beautiful bottles. Over in six to eight hundred bucks. Wow. Yeah. I don't want to sell them, but um, I do have uh, a three-sided soda bottle. It's called Ankle Deep. 
And that one is... I love uh, the name. It's from David City, Nebraska. And that was one of the first ones I collected. And I paid 50 bucks for that bottle. And it's well over 100 easy. Where are you from? Uh, I'm from Platte City, Missouri. Platte City, Missouri. We're yeah. from Bufffield. Uh, uh, north, just 100 north miles guys. away. Yeah. 100 miles away. From, hey, you guys. are up around Chill Coffee. You guys love here. some wrestling here in Platte City. We love some wrestling uh, Chill in Chill Coffee close to you? Yeah, Chill Christie's from Chillicothe. Right. I have five or six McGurvin's Dairy bottles. And those are, from what I understand, you can't not so, well, we appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. Thank Anytime. you for the interview. Thank you for the good deal on the ball. Enjoy it. Thank you. Thank you to everybody at the 51st annual St. Louis Bottle Show, and especially for everybody we interviewed for playing along. And we'll see you guys from the hole. <laughs>